Welcome back. Now with our health segment is update Nicole Sattler. Nicole, I hear you have some information for people who may be suffering from peanut allergies. Yes, that's right, Rachel. Duke University may be close to finding a cure, and the cure might be peanuts. Scientists at the university fed children allergic to peanuts small amounts of peanuts in liquid or powdered form. After a few weeks, they slowly increased the dose over a several week period. Doctors hope that this will help find a cure for more food allergies in the future. There is now an alternative for women that feel uncomfortable with receiving a mammogram. Some doctors are now using a digital imaging device during the examination. Doctors say the machine works well for women with dense breasts and for those who feel discomfort with a regular mammogram. However, experts say the digital image machine tends to give more false positive results than the original process. Shoppers have a new food label to check out at the grocery store. Most meats, fish, and some fresh and frozen produce will now have a label stating the country of origin. The labels give more information to shoppers who are worried about the food safety. Some food safety experts say the law is flawed because it doesn't cover cook or processed products. The next time you go for your coffee, you might want to watch what you put in it. A study by the American Psychological Association shows that artificial sweeteners might not be as healthy, healthy as you thought. The APA found that the use of artificial sweeteners actually leads to higher calorie consumption than natural sugar. According to the Dietetic Association, it's because your body naturally craves sugar and it will continue to until it gets it. And guys, according to a spokesperson for the National Coffee Association, the average person consumes three cups of coffee a day. So the calories can add up quickly. Wow, I think that's something most people really need to, to know. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, most of the people just think about the coffee. So we'll be sure to watch out for that thing. Uh, uh, watch out for that. Just Thanks be so careful. Fun. Thank Thanks. you. A way to stay fit this spring is by riding your bike. Temple is trying to make it easier to get one of your own. Update Sheena Armador has a more. Bike sharing is becoming a growing trend within university campuses around the country. Schools like Emory University, NYU, and even Drexel have started a bike sharing program for their students. Temple Student Government Senator Duche Holmes would like to see Temple start a program of its own. You get to integrate with the traffic and you get to see the city in a way that you've never seen it before and it's like good to be mobile and to be able to go. Mobility around campus is a concern for some students, but not all. One Temple student explains why the program would not be right for him. It's not something I would be interested in because I don't really travel that far on campus. All my classes are pretty close to where I live, so uh, I don't really feel a need for a bike. I feel like I might get hurt if I ride a bike, so it's not worth the, worth the risk. And that is one of the concerns for bike sharing organizers here on campus. There's li there are a lot of liabilities that are like, and the question isn't whether or not, like, what's the chance of them happening? The question is whether or not, like, are we comfortable with the risk? But if more students and organizations show favor toward the program, university officials may be more willing to take those risks. Yeah. Universities in general usually respond to student groups and, and if students are really trying to get, if students want this and bring this to the campus, which I, I truly believe that they do, you know, get involved, talk to the, to the planning committee, talk to your uh, to deans and, and the people involved in making these decisions because that's really how you're going to bring bike sharing to your campus. The bike share program at Temple University is still in the thought process. With students' participation, this program can become a reality. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Sheena Amador. Rachel Harris wants to go to Notre Dame, and she wants your help. The high school senior from Michigan says she has the grades, but not the funds. So the girl has created the I want to go to Notre Dame dot com website. Rachel says she got the idea from an online fundraising success of Barack Obama. Miss Harris says she'll return all the donations if she doesn't become a member of the Fighting Irish. With stories like that, it really makes you feel the crunch of the economy. I agree, Rachel. But it's not all doom and gloom. Update Amanda Geronicus is in the newsroom to tell us about the parties, a party not over about having a job. Yes, I do, Johnny. Are you currently one of those people looking for a job? Join the club, or better yet, join the party. Pink slip parties are the place to be these days. At the parties, the unemployed can meet with job recruiters and network, as well as get advice on how to survive in today's tough times. Even if prospective employees don't walk away with a job, they at least get a drink at a discounted price. 
For college seniors, been, the biggest challenge isn't excited. getting your degree anymore. Looking for a job has become a full-time job. According to a survey of seniors, 63% of students said they were worried about the thought of getting a job. On the flip side, 40% of the seniors it's, it's interviewed haven't started their job search yet, but they remain confident you. they will overcome the poor economy. As the economic, economic crisis worsened last year, Americans became more stressed out and experienced a decrease in mental health. According to a landmark Gallup Healthways poll, the 2008 survey of over 350,000 people is believed to be the largest poll showing how emotional well-being shifts with economic changes. Villanova University announced a hiring and wage freeze for faculty and staff. It's expected to last until May of 2010. The university is facing a 25% decline in its endowment funds. School officials say labor costs make up more than half of Villanova's budget. The university will honor the wage increases agreed upon through union contracts. It wasn't too long ago that Temple announced its own hiring freeze. It looks like we weren't the only local school to fall victim to the economy. Back to you guys. One business is one business thriving in the current economy is bars. Bar owners say customers who used to only purchase drinks are now also staying around to purchase food. Due to the high cost of the more upscale restaurants, the low cost of bar food is more appealing and is helping local bars thrive during these tough times. Coming up on Temple Update, Dan is here in our sports desk to let us know where the women's basketball team will be playing their tournament games. Stick around, Temple Update will be right back. Coming up on Temple.